A local dog. This dog evades cars and capture after he took off full speed onto the 163 over the weekend. Now, this could have come to a horrible end. Instead, several officers, some good Samaritans, and one little irresistible Frenchie right there saved the day. He's not an outside dog. He's a house dog. So I was like, how did he find his way to the freeway? Hello. This is Baloo, Hi. a one and a half year old Chow Chow recovering at home tonight after his traumatic weekend running loose on the 163. He ran out of the house, just straight out of our door. Baloo lives with his family in a neighborhood near the zoo, but Saturday he took off and they could not find him. It was the worst experience we've ever had and everyone was telling me it's just a dog and I'm like crying, you don't understand, you don't understand, he's not just a dog. They had no idea officers were shutting down the 163 because of Baloo. The cops are driving on the side of the freeway. I think there was an other side was closed. Christine and her little friend, she were on the 163 when traffic stopped. She saw a chow chow running on the freeway with officers and others close behind. You should never chase a dog when it's scared. It's going to keep running. So the best thing to do is have the dog come to you. Christine is a dog walker and wanted to help. So I asked the cop if she wanted me to take my dog Mula out to stop her and she said no. Christine ran an errand and when she came back on the 163, Baloo was still loose. This time, Christine pulled over. When I got Mula out of the car, first she looked around and I was like, go Mula, go. This is the moment Christine took Mula's leash and secured Baloo. In that very moment, I just wanted to stop traffic, get that dog, and that's all I really cared about. Baloo's family is grateful. Christine and others took the time to save their dog. Linda says officers on the scene told her she'll get a citation in the mail since it took so much manpower and they had to shut down the freeway. She's relieved, though, to have Baloo home. I was crying. I was thinking the worst of the worst. I thought we were never going to see him again. She went through that and, and ended up with a ticket. That's that's the worst of it for them? Well, yeah, right now, it's, she said that it could be, it's from CHP, so it could be $200 and up because they had all those officers there and shut down the freeway. But this is a good reminder. Right now, the Humane Society is free microchipping ah. all your dogs. There you go. Through good, the month of October. Good reminder, and hopefully it doesn't get loose on, on the freeway. I think.